वेलकम टू एक्सचेंज सर्वर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वॉट इज मैसेज जर्नलिंग जर्नलिंग इज बेसिकली यूज टू रिटेन द मैसेजेस फॉर कंप्लाइंस इन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड द कॉपीज ऑफ मैसेजेस आइडेंटिफाई फॉर द जर्नलिंग एंड आर सेंड टू द जर्नलिंग मेल बॉक्स एंड यू कैन रिव्यू द मैसेजेस इन द जर्नलिंग मेल बॉक्स एंड देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ जर्नलिंग द स्टैंडर्ड जर्नलिंग एंड अ प्रीमियम जर्नलिंग If we talk about the standard journaling this type of journaling is enabled on each mailbox database that means all messages sent to or from mailboxes in the database are sent to the journaling mailbox and there is no mechanism to selectively choose the messages selected for journaling and in a premium journaling this type of journaling uses journal rules to identify the messages to be journaled this allow you to collect only the messages that are required by your organization and this type of journaling requires an exchange enterprise client access license disclaimer you can add a disclaimer at the top or at the bottom of email messages to every email that leaves or enter your organization usually that is done for the legal business purpose or regulatory requirements so let's move on to the server and see how we can configure our email disclaimer and journaling so now i am on a server that is our exchange server and in order to configure the journaling we have to create a new email address where all the journal email can be sent so let's try to create a new email address by the name of journal let me put that inside the management ou user login name will be the journal at techiejack.inside and let me put the password for this and i will click on save so now we have created the mailbox that is journal at techiejack.live and if we go to the compliance management here you can see the journal rules if i click on add it says the send journal report to so we want that journal report to be sent on that email address we have just created that is journal at techiejack.live and name i will give the simple name as a journal here we have a option like if the message is sent to or received from you can apply it on the all messages but if you select the all messages it will journal all the messages which may take a huge space so the proper planning should be done for that or what you can do you can create a separate database for that right now we haven't created the separate database because we are trying to do it for the specific user or group so let me select the user i want to select this alex this is in a sales ou and i want to add this and well, let me click on okay and here you can see all the message internal message or external if you want to journal only the external message sent outside your organization only those messages will be journaled if you want only internal message only the internal will be journaled if you want all you can select all so let me select all and click on save or even you can give this as a name like journal for alex let me click on save and if you want to do that for another user you can just click on add again and here you can select the specific user or group for example i will do that for mandy name is journal mandy and the email address will be the same journal at techiejack.live and i want to monitor all the messages here you can see to use the premium journaling you must have an enterprise client access license so if you want to use a premium journaling you should have a enterprise client access license for that let me click on save as and you can see here send undeliverable journal report to if the report is not able to delivered then you should select the address where that undeliverable report will be sent so let me select that address for undeliverable report let me select it for the administrator and click on save we have a warning here it says it is recommended that you create a dedicated mailbox for undeliverable journal report you can create a new mailbox for the all undeliverable reports but right now administrator will receive the undeliverable reports so let me click on okay so let's try to test it let me send an email to alex so now we are inside the vikas mailbox and let me try to send an email to alex let me put the subject as checking journal rule and i will send it now we are logging into the alex mailbox you can see that alex has received the mail from vikas this same email will be received by the journal at techiejack.live mailbox so let's try to log into that as well you can see this is a journal mailbox and we have a email here sender is vikas subject is this there is a message id and to alex and this message is inside the envelope if you open this it opens in a new window and here you can see the checking journal rule and this is the content of the email so the journal email you will receive inside the envelope let's have a look on the disclaimer as well 
In order to configure the disclaimer rule, you can go to the mail flow. Here you can see the rules. Let's try to add a rule. We'll say create a new rule. I will say disclaimer for techie jack. Apply this rule if there is a condition now. We are going to apply that disclaimer on all the messages. So we'll select apply to all messages and do the following. This is a condition and what action you want to take. So we are going to append the disclaimer. So let me enter the text for that. So let me click on OK. Fallback action. That is a wrap. We'll click on OK. We have a more option here. We can say activate this rule on the following date. We can activate on the particular time as well. But if I say enforce, it will apply the rule immediately. So let me click on save. Do you want this rule to apply to all the future message? I say yes. So now we have configured the disclaimer for our email and let's try that. Let's try to log in with the Jack user. Let me try to create a new email and I will send it to a Jack itself and also CC to Vikas. Testing disclaimer. So let me try to send this email now. Email has been sent and Jack has received the email. Testing for disclaimer and you can see the disclaimer is there. Vikas should also receive that email. You can see the mail from Jack. Here we have a disclaimer. So our disclaimer has been applied successfully. I hope you are clear with it. So let's meet in the next video.